Hey, Metro Mexicano. Sometimes Sinatra gets played at closing time. Sometimes the lovers miss the last train intentionally. Sometimes the trains can't sleep and lie awake thinking of the pastures where they once roamed freely under the sun grazing for greener grass. The trains now driven to run in circles, unsure and undeciding. The janitor knows the sound of every Sinatra lyric. The janitor with no idea what the sounds mean. All those love lyrics lost on him. So we're the ones left screaming down the dark, dark tubes, trying to have a conversation between stations, lovers on the verge of a breakup, loud, trying too hard, meaningless, meaning lost. The music knows every echo of the station and what the darkness feels like when the darkness swallowed even sound, even the sound of the lyrics, even the lover's human breath. At what point does the conversation stop being a conversation and instead become the bad dream of a train moaning on a bed made of metal? What made the music decide to stay distant in Mexico? Where people only understand its rhythm and maybe mouth its melody. This melody wasn't enough for you. You won't miss the last train, but you can't hear the irony in this music, the lyrics and the sound, the meaning of this poem. The trains finally sleep. The tunnel holds its thick breath. The crawling things crawl. The darkness thinks of things it could have said. The janitor marvels at the cleanliness of nobody being around or being alone. You're thinking about where you leave to after the train starts running. I'm thinking about greener grass outside the subway as our breath untangled itself back in the two, both stuck listening to this midnight music in the meantime, in un metro mexicano.